I am doing the numerology for July 9th, 2024. If you add all those numbers together, you get the number 24. And if you add the 2 and the 4 together, you get the number 6. With the number 6, we may feel as if we need to sit patiently and wait on the will of the divine. That is not necessarily a bad thing. Patience is a virtue that is honed over time because we recognize that the universe has its own timing and plan. The ideas that we have can take a tremendous amount of time to manifest. Often we do not know how much effort needs to be put into something for it to finally be birthed into a form that will stand the tests of time. That is why there are moments that we need to learn to listen, wait, and contemplate. Today is an acknowledgement that we have finished a difficult part of a task, but now it is about letting go and allowing that thing to find its own footing and to see if it has what it takes to move to the next level. Congratulate yourself that you are at this moment in time. Know that you have put a lot of energy and time into something and in the end it will give you something quite wonderful in the future. But it is now not up to you but up to the greater forces that are in control of this reality. And I don't mean the powerful and wealthy people of this world. I mean the divine forces that are the masters of this karmic game. This number six is always contemplative. It is a number of meditation and those that seek spiritual understanding and the deeper meanings of the universe. It is a reminder to walk your walk and talk your talk. It is a number that reminds us that what we say and do either helps us disconnect from the karmic snares and choices of our past, or we will continue with our words and actions to entrap ourselves with our own unresolved issues and beliefs. The motto for this number is honesty, but that is a difficult thing to manifest in this reality because people believe they are being honest when they are only repeating the words and actions of the dishonest. That is why today it might be wise to stop voicing an opinion and instead go inside and ask to see what are our personal delusions that are blocking us from seeing and reconnecting to our true self.